at CoachDavidLive.com. And we got our helpers. We got Gordon and Char. Char. Okay, so we're going over Dynamite Doubles basics, basically. We're doing the first four. Four perfect. First four perfect. Huh? Yes. We'll stop after the fourth shot and redo it. Out. So the first four have to be in. There's nothing else. That's the drill. So she's going to hit five of them. That's one. First four shots have to be in. Okay. And stop. Good. So your job is to hit the return and get to the line. That's your job right now. Uh, first four shots, they got to be in play. Start over. So get the line, get the line, get the line. Good. Okay, one more. Just do one more. Get the line, get the line, get the line. Soft fourth. Perfect. Okay, Gordon's here. So now, your role, you're up on that line, right? You're the blocker right now. So, I'm going to hit a return. No. He hits a third. You can actually go get it. You're going to protect me till I get up there. I want you to be real aggressive there. Now, if it bounces or it's way away, you just let me get it. But there's no, oh, I'm going to leave it to his forehand. No, you, you're up here already. You could be smacking it. Does that make sense? You're the hunter. Yeah, if you can. Uh, just let's do a couple and then set up scenarios. So I return in front of my partner. I get to the line and I do a soft fourth to the feet because it wasn't attackable. I had no attack there on my fourth. So look to cut something off if you can. Okay, good. So they're getting to the line. I really have no attack, so I'm hitting it soft into the kitchen. Most people are trying to attack this fourth all the time. It doesn't make sense. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep at it. Nice. Okay. Do one more. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so typically, do you like to drive or drop or what do you like to do? How's your drop? Let's hit all drops right now. But you want to try to drop in front of your partner. So you want to try to drop in front of me. Okay. Serve, return, drop. Okay, that's a blown one. First four shots have to go in. Oh, my bad. First four shots have to go in. It's called the perfect four for a reason. Okay, me. I'm going to drop. Okay, so it was kind of an ambiguous shot. I took it, but I put it in front of myself, and you took off. So you created that gap. So if I put this drop in front of myself, you have to force yourself to stay back till I get up here to cover that gap. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, you, you, you. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Do it again. So, so be careful about chirping. 
hitting the chips and moving because it's getting to them so fast that you're going to get hit moving. So if you're going to hit it high, you got to hit and stop, hit and stop, because then you're also getting out in front of me, you know. Nice, there we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, serve one more, serve one more. One more, one more. Out. Okay, good, that's good. You like kind of a drop drive, you know? That's a good shot. So you need to be up there, right? So once you see that my drop's gonna be good, it's gonna bounce, boom, you need to be in their face. Does that make sense? Me, drop. There, Hunter. Okay, stay up there, stay up there. Let's keep, keep it going. Okay. So I saw they were out of position, so I kind of, you know, hit a shot. But that was good. So you got to watch what I'm doing. So I put that in front of myself. So you got to make sure, you got to hold up till I get in front of you. That's why I did that on purpose. You are an active player. Even though you're not touching the ball, you got to be aware of what this guy's doing. Does that make sense? So wherever that ball goes determines our positioning. So I might drop it here, I might drop it there. You gotta be ready. You? There. See, I, I waited, you drove forward, so I just stopped. I'm gonna let you get ahead of me. I'm your backup this whole time. Okay, drop. Okay, good. One more. Me, drop. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Okay, let's play it out. Oh, nice one. Okay, so that's good. That's the first four shots drill. For the perfect four. Yes, ask your questions. Confused on when to hang back and when to go forward. Okay, so if that ball, if you drop that ball in front of you, then you're going to hang back and well, cross court in front of your partner. Sorry, my bad. You're right. If you drop that ball in front of your partner, I'm going up to be the blocker. You're hanging back. You're the backup. If you put it in front of yourself, then wherever I'm at, I have to stop and let you get up ahead of me because we're covering this gap. Now, so if you drop in front of me, you're the workhorse. You're coming up behind me. If you drop in front of yourself, you're the blocker. I'm coming up behind you. Let's. Yeah. Right. So let's do let's do a couple more with us hitting thirds. Mix it up. Okay, me. Okay, so that was perfect. See how the ball was in front of you, so you're the blocker. I came up slow, I'm just sweeping up all this stuff, and I'm basically putting it back in front of you. Because if I sweep here and put it in front of myself, I just created the gap, right? Okay, here we go. Yep. So I just stayed back as your block. You put in front of yourself. I just I'm sweeping up anything that's coming to me. Yeah, you can until you need to defend. Okay. Once you need to defend, then if you do go to her, I'm going to come up here. But you wouldn't attack cross because then I don't have any time to respond. But you could defend across, and then we would just reset ourselves. 
That makes sense? Let's keep going. Do this again. Okay, me, drop. You. There, now you're the blocker. Get up there, be aggressive. So, now I'm workhorse. So I defend, now I'm the blocker. I'm, and she just torched it. So that, I thought that was good. Did you kind of see what was happening there? Okay. So we're gonna start playing points. By the end of the lesson, it'll be pure as mud. <laughs> it'll be clear as mud. But that's why you can watch this again. Okay. So we're going to play for points. Yep. Excellent. Way to get low. That's so important. So I'm a strategist. I'm not really a technique person. Sure, I can teach you some technique, but I'm a strategist. Yeah. Okay, me. Drop. Okay. Uh, zero, zero. Two. Ah, oh, jeez. Play it, play it, play it. Go. No, stop, stop, stop. Redo it. Zero, zero, two. You, you, you. Okay, get up in front of yourself. Yep. So you went in front of yourself, so you're going to be the blocker. So that was good. And I'm just hanging back. I'm your backup. Yeah, unless unless he's he has a put away on it, then you would just freeze, right? But if you feel it's going to bounce in the kitchen, yes, you need to close that distance. Get in their face. Freeze. Freeze, get the paddle down. If it's real high, then you can retreat. But Okay, one, zero, two. Okay, me. Go, go, go. So get up on that line. Look for anything that's in the air. Otherwise, we're just going to... Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, two, zero, two. You? Okay, you got trapped, right? Moving forward. Yeah. So a lot of times I serve and move backwards, especially with the wind coming. Okay, so try to, try to return in front of me. Okay, go again. In the beginning, you're doing so much thinking, your skills kind of degrade, but eventually it absorbs into your system. So don't worry about missing, you know? Me? Okay, so I did a soft fourth because I really had nothing. I had no attack. The only time I attack a fourth is if it's up in the air. Okay, otherwise I just put it back in the kitchen. Safe. That was good. The other stuff with you missing, that's a skill which takes hours and hours and hours of lessons, you know, which you're not going to learn today. So I'd just rather teach you the strat this strategy. Because if we put the ball in the right places, you're not getting attacked. You're not getting flicked at, right? You. Yeah, so I don't know if it's other people that are attacking you or you started, actually. You know, because if you give them a if you give them a volley, the speed up game's already happening. You know? So you gotta really be you and your partner really have to pay attention because you can't really go up 
if it's a drive, right? Two zero two? Uh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Me? Yeah, that was a good shot. Out. Yeah, I just pushed him. That all he had was that lucky 10% shot. No, no, we don't even worry about those. He, he slopped into it. It's not like he did it on purpose. So we don't worry about 10% shots. We want to cover 80% shots. Yeah. Now, if he does that two, three times, then we know, oh, it's on purpose. We got to change our strategy then. So there one, I could be a little more aggressive because he's still back. You just look for something in the air. Yeah, it's not there yet. There we go. Okay, good. See, even though you're not doing anything, you're in that game. You're constantly looking for that pop-up when you're the hunter. Out, out, out. Okay, good. Okay, so we're uh, three, two, one, I think. Three, two, one. Okay. So you got a little, you dropped perfect drop and then got a little ahead of me, oh. right? So hit that perfect drop, but you got to, I got to know that you're behind me so I can let certain balls go by that aren't mine. But if you're already up there, I'm here, I can't, I don't trust that my partner's there as my backup. You put that ball in front of me, dropped, and then you basically kind of got ahead of me. So... I know if he goes down the middle, I should be able to let it go for you to get instead of me stabbing at it. But if you're already up here, we got, there's no backup. So if I drop in front of my partner, I'm here, right? Here for the backup. Let's just do that same drop. Okay, one, so serve. Yeah, return, drop in front of, drop to Gordon again. Right. That's old. You're you're going to be out of position. Okay. The pros can do it because they're so fast, but everybody else, it's just you're out of position. Okay. So if I hit a good drop shot, you're going to be the backup. I'm going to go up to be the hunter, and you're going to be behind me, one step or two, okay. until we get established up there. There. Play it out. Okay, good. No, so good for two hits, the, the time one. where you say, oh, I thought I need to get up there is on the return. When I hit a return, I want to get up there because they have to let the ball bounce. But on the third, I can take my time all day long as long as I keep putting it in front of my partner. Okay. Then there's no pressure to get up there. You just keep chipping away, and I'm here trying to cut stuff off. So they know they're just going to funnel it over here. Correct. Because you put the ball in front of me. So now I'm the blocker. Just like I said to you. Hey, get up there. That ball was... So if I'm serving, I'm just kind of getting it back slowly. Yes. Working my way up. Okay. Yes. Unless you put that ball in front of you. And then now... Correct. While on the serve. On the serve. Because that's our third shot, right? Okay. On the return is we chip and charge. Does that make sense? Okay, I don't know what's what. Just start um, two, three. Okay, so ready? Three, two, two. You got to pay attention to where I put this ball.
Okay. Trying to get too, too aggressive on that dink. It's got to just go over. If I did more lessons with you, I would teach you a two-handed backhand dink. Because this, if they're, so if they're pushing it sharp, it's going to be so flat, you can't do it. Well, if you just let the ball hit right here, it's going to pop over. But that's a whole other lesson. But what I did like, I put that ball in front of you. It was a good drop, and you pressured. So I could just come up slow. That was great. Okay, so you're up top. So now, this is the time we want to get to the line. Chip and charge. When I return, I want to get to that line in one shot. Get up on there. Get up on there. Okay, so there I could attack that fourth because it was up in the air, right? And since they're both back, I can kind of hit it wherever I want. So this one is the chip and charge. On the return, chip and charge. Get to that line. So this one typically, it was probably could have been yours, but since I did take it, I put it back in front of myself. If I would have put it over there, I would have burned us. Yes. But that was a perfect chip and charge. So I'm now you're all the way up. Now you're looking to cut off their third. You're looking to cut it off. Be aggressive. There we go. Yes. You're the hunter. You want to eat. Great job. Because that, you know, a lot of people only sit out there, you know, and they watch the ball go by to their partner. No, you are an active participant in this game. You know, you want to put pressure on them. You want to force them to go all the way over here. We're shrinking the court on them. Does it matter who I go to? No, not really. I mean, the guy, the person back, typically. Yeah. Unless you have an overhead, it's a person right in front of you that can't get it. They're serving until they should both be back. They're both back, yeah. Well, they're hitting a third, so one person's probably scooting in and the other's hitting the third. So you kind of hit the person on the run. Okay, what are we, Gordon? Three, three, one. Me? Drop. So you're looking to attack anything out of the air. Okay, good. You did your job perfectly. You forced them into me. They hit a soft one. Then I can lob. I can kind of attack those soft ones. Okay, so I'm here. You're there. That was my serve. Okay, four, three, one. See how he went over there and got that? Okay, now we're in the cat and mouse. You, you, hang in there. Hey, tack it. Oh. Yeah, so that's the movement issue. The better we can move in this game, the better we can play. Okay, you here. Four, three, two. It's your serve. But that that was really good. Four, three, two. You. So you hit that drive and went up ahead of me again. So if you would have hit that drive at Char, then yes, you can follow it up. But if you hit that drive in front of me and you race up, it's the gap, right? Yeah, and once you, we just do it, do it, do it. We keep repeating the same thing. You watch it, and then it'll click. Chip and charge, get up here. Me, see how I can cover you? You can do the same for me. You can do the same for Ed, you know? And he would be like, whoa, that's awesome. Okay, so you're up, you're up. Now protect me till I get up there. Protect me, protect me. Okay, me, I'm putting it back in front of you. I'm gonna put it back in front of you. Look at look for that one. Okay. Uh so if you if you don't have great lateral movement and I was your partner, I would put you more neutral here and I would just cover more territory here. So then you'd be able to get all those, right? Yeah. So if you have Ed as your partner, he's super fast. My wife, she plays right here. 
you know, I take all that. And he could too. Then I should just try to go right back to her, right? Right back to her, yep. Or, I mean, it gives you a nice cross court dink if they give you one to your forehand, because oh. Gordon should have been moving over. Oh, okay. Or the lob. Okay. That, I like those three. Okay, here we go. So I'm your protector until you get up there. You? Uh, yeah, so. Soft fourth, soft. In the kitchen. I call it soft at their feet. Soft at their feet. Even if they're back, it can go soft at their feet. We don't want to give anybody a volley. And you know what a volley is tennis, right? Out of the air. Okay, be my protector. So you're looking for something out of the air. And that's your role there, you know. So now, if you see me push one wide, Typically, that's the shot they're going to hit, is right here. So you should see that I pushed it wide and started moving over, you know. I don't want to get too high level, but... Yeah, follow that ball. Yep. Me? Play it. Okay. You? Yeah, I mean, if you don't have a drop shot, that's a whole other series of lessons, you know? So if you go hard, go hard either middle or down that line. If you go hard in front of me, you're getting yourself out of position because you're going up ahead of me. So I don't want to stop you from doing that if that's your natural thing until we do way other lessons, you know? So if that's your natural thing, you got to go down the middle or down that line, okay? And then you can hustle up there as fast as you want. Okay. Five, five, two. Okay, me, me, me. Me? So that, see how you burn me? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I can't think when I get up there. It just kind of rolls. I know. That's why it just takes repetition. You got to watch the video. I mean, they've taken lessons since in four months, one a week, plus playing lessons every weekend, you know. Okay, be my protector. Okay, nothing. Soft four to the feet. Okay, not quite there to attack. So you just need to let that one bounce and then put it in front of me. Cross court's always the best if we can. There we go. See how far I went to protect you, right? So what you don't want to do is get underneath me, which you didn't. You were clear. Yeah, trust that I'm going to get that shot. And you got to be ready for me to pull back. And you got to be ready to get it. So be my protector up there. Be my protector. Okay, not there. Soft fourth. Yeah. So that's just a tough spot. Right, Shar, wide of my forehand. Gives me lots of openings. Uh, five, six, one. Five, six, one. Oh. Me? Oh. So I got trapped. So I'm just, I'm trying to put it in front of you just to get us in sync or lob there okay five six two okay okay you're up you're my protector now okay good okay so I'm your protector here so return him to Gordon Okay. 
No, I wouldn't have. I would have let it bounce. But I, I would have let it bounce where you were back here. And then you, have, you can see this whole court. You can attack off that bounce, or you can hit an easy one. Once you see their shot, you don't want to jam yourself. I don't care about taking it out of the air. Just set up a good shot for yourself. A lot of times, I let them bounce almost all the time. Yeah, because I can see the whole court, and I can attack if it's deep enough. Where if I'm leaning in, all I have is a pop-up. Okay, you're my protector. It's not there. There you go. Stay low. Stay low. Okay, you don't need to be. Yeah, you don't need to be aggressive there. You're trying to set me up. You're just trying to put in place, set me up. Don't try to win dinks. Try to get them to get out of position. That's all we're trying to do on our dinking, waiting on an opportunity. But when I, yeah, for the partner or they create a hole and then we can attack it. But if you try to win on dinks, you lose on dinks, right? Dinks are just to set up a better shot. Okay, here we go. You? Okay. So that, so he hits a great drop, right? And you're trying to bring it all the way across to here. When all you actually, just throw me a little dink. All you really have to do is just like that. Just let it hit the paddle and go into the kitchen. Now we're set. If you try to hit some super great shot, it's very difficult. Just let it chip off your paddle into the net, over the net. That's it. Soft four to the feet. That's it. Okay, now you're my protector. There we go. Just stay in there, stay in that dink. Stay in there, good. Okay, good job. That was better, that was better, Crystal. Because I'm waiting on something for them to pop up in middle and I'm gonna get it. So you just stay in there, stay in there. <laughs> you. You? Oh, jeez. Yeah, so there's no reason to be aggressive because it was below the net. So, I mean, yeah, I know you say your issue is, oh, everybody's speeding it up. You're speeding it up, right. Once somebody starts, I call it chaos ball, it just goes into chaos. You got to be able to control it by soft four to the feet, cutting off the thirds. Dinking cross, defending cross court and dinks. That gets away from that chaos game. But if you start the chaos, you better be able to finish it. Because your partner has no idea what to do when you start chaos. It always gets out of position. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that game? Okay, let's get a drink. You didn't know it was such high level stuff, huh? This is chess, man. That's why I love the game, is to play chess. Otherwise, everybody else is just playing blocks, you know? Yeah, but if your partner doesn't know what you're doing, it's... There's ways to do it, though. Yeah. Even if they're a rec player, if they put that ball in front of you, you go up. Okay. If they put the ball in front of them, you stay back. Okay. So you can practice doing it the right way. And then once you get a player that can play this way, which, I mean, most people are learning it, mm -hmm. it's like... Music, beautiful music, you know. If you can get Ed to take a lesson with you two together, you know, next time you come back or something. Because this would help. You guys would be a strong player, couple. I mean, my wife's not as strong as me, she's strong. But as a team, we're a freaking killer, you know. <laughs> That's this is it. 
this is it. Okay, let's go. We're on their side, Crystal. So the return is a chip and charge. The third is when you're either blocker or workhorse. That's kind of it. So this is where one somebody's going to be a blocker workhorse right here because we're serving. If we're returning, we just chip and charge, you know. Okay, zero, zero. You. So just keep it, yep, keep it defending, keep defending. Good job. Okay, too deep. Got a little wind at our back. So you're my protector. Get ready. There we go. So I just kind of stayed my own blocker there, my own hunter. You know, I'm looking to be aggressive. But it wasn't working, so I just pushed it over there. I didn't try to win that dink. She just missed. I can win just on her missing on dinks. Yeah, and see how I can be in the game just by moving around. Yeah. Me, me, me. So you're looking for something out of the air. And I hit a pro shot. I hit a pro shot on her. Yeah, you can win just by dinking, but I'm not trying to win the dink, you know? I'm just putting the ball back in play. You? Okay, good try. Okay. I do like that drop with your backhand there. Just more margin for error. Get her over the net that high. What are we, Gordon? Okay, one, one, two. You. So good. There we go. You really set up your team when you can hit drops. <laughs> you know? Because as you go up, your drives don't mean anything. They get snuffed out. Right? But if you can drop, you can play. Your levels get, keep going up. Uh, I think 2-2. Two, two. Two, one, two. Okay, me. Okay. So that's good. You're there just up pressuring. You're waiting on a pop-up, you know. I'm the workhorse. I'm doing all the work, right? You're there to get some candy or something. <laughs> uh, three, two, two. You got it. Me. Go, go, go. Okay, look for something in the air. Yes. Turn my pedal. On that line. And your whole focus is looking for that ball coming in the air. You really have no other job right there, you know. You're the hunter. You're the hunter. I'm the workhorse in that scenario. Hunter blocker is synonymous. So don't get confused on that. I like to say hunter because I want an aggressive mindset. Okay. A blocker kind of makes it static, yeah. So I like hunter because you looking around. So I'm going to either hunt it or block it. Yes, or let me go. Anything bounce, that's mine. So here, be aggressive. Be aggressive. You're a hunter right now because the ball's in front of you, right? And I'm going to put that ball back in front of you. There you go. Okay, good, 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 good. There we go. Yeah. 
I let a lot bounce. I can do more off the bounce than I can out of the air, you know. I know they, everybody says, take it out of the air. It just doesn't work. It's not practical for most people. Most people just pop it up. But you can take it off the bounce and go cross court. Okay, here we go. Now be my protector. You're aggressive. You, you, you. Yes, get it. Nice. There we go, Hunter. That's. I love that shot off the attack, not off the bounce. Off the attack, I, I love it. I love it. Correct. Correct. Which is hard to change from this to this, but you got to, you know? Okay, sorry. No, no, no. Out. And letting balls go out is a skill on, on its own. Something I'm learning every day. Uh, three, three. Three, three, one. You. Me. Okay, I'm the hunter. Oh, she got it. I mean, she's the hunter. Okay, three, three, two. You. Yep, good. So you gave her a volley, right? And she attacked me, yep. And that's a skill. That's a skill that takes a lot of time to get. We couldn't do it in an hour, you know, it's just not happening. But you can take this with you. So be my protector. Ah, oh, shoot. Sometimes I'm talking and hitting, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's why I don't ever remember the score. So there's really no reason to change directions. You were still kind of in control and balance. So just bring it back. Yep. For you to change the directions after that, that's a tough shot. Where your paddle's already set to go cross court. Yeah. See ya, Paul. See ya. Okay, you're my protector. So I just saw she overran. She got out in front of her partner, you know? So there's going to be a hole somewhere. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the wind is tough. All right, get ready. Uh, three, five, one. You. Okay, so since you went up ahead of me and took it, you got to put that in front of yourself. Yeah, because you there was a hole, right? You're starting to get it though. It's starting to yeah. click a little. Okay. My brain is, but my body's. No, the skills go to crap when you learn temporarily. Me. You. So I like lifting the dinks instead of trying to chop at them. Lifting gets them over the net every time. Okay. Chopping, you know, you pull one off and everybody goes, whoa, what a great dink, but you miss 10 to get that one. I lift, I lift my thirds, I lift my dinks. You're looking for something in the air. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to be nice. I see it. I like a two-handed. I do. Yeah, I don't know why the girl, because they were told, oh, don't put two hands on it when they first learned. Two-handed backhand is the way to go.
So that's not attackable. It's a ditch. It's a ditch right there, or it's a lob. Yeah, you can't. Those I'm just trying to get away. Those are only two shots. Okay. It's easier if you just let the ball hit. It'll pop up right there. Yeah, you can't bring it back across. It's too hard. Get those down. <laughs> yeah. So you're, so that, I mean, there's a whole other lesson to fix that. But you're all wrist and no shoulder. If you don't get the shoulder in it, the wrist, especially any pressure, it pops it up. It's got to be shoulder, 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 shoulder. All wrist, it's pop up city. Yeah. Okay, keep going. This is a lot. You're learning a lot here. Yeah, just all wrist. Wrist gets you a ton of power, but the subtleness you lose. So I'm there, I was your protector, right? It's easy to correct. You just can't do it in an hour. I'm thinking for me to not use my wrist, I squeeze to have it stiff wrist, and then it comes off too far. If you, yes, you gotta create that angle, which I call the magic angle. So once you're at this 45, you can just let hit the ball, hit the paddle. When I do my resets, I'm just at this 45. When I do my drops, I'm at the 45. When I do my dinks, I'm at the 45. Where everybody else is just flat like a two iron in golf, you know? Yeah. That's why you get no loft. Okay. So just 45? Yeah, that 45. And then I move my shoulder into it. Yeah, I could definitely fix it. It just it can't be fixed in one day. What are we? 3-9? Three, 3-9-1. Nine? Three, nine. Three, nine, Me? Drop. You're just waiting for something in the air. I'm trying to set you up. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that one? <laughs> yeah. That big fluffy marshmallow there? That one? That I could have ripped down the middle? Yes, oh, that, that one. one. That one, that one. <laughs> you? It's good. Reset it. Reset it. There we go. Okay, get back in your position. Okay. Good work. That was really good work. Good yeah. Side out. Okay, good job. At one point, you don't want to go forward too many times. You want to ditch it off in front of your partner. You know? Forward once, maybe twice, and then go to cross court. Forward is for attacking. Cross court is for defense. That's one where this guy's taking a look at it, but I'm not going to stab at it. So I need to know that you're going to make that shot as your partner, you know? Okay, get up there. Get You're my protector. Good. Just your movement can cause that miss, you know? Because they're used to that person not doing nothing. So you cause that just by moving a little bit. Okay, uh, 310. You? Great. Drove that in front of yourself. I could stay behind you. That was textbook perfect. Okay? Yeah, if you drive, it's got to be in front, middle, or down your line. 
unless we have a set play, but we don't. Four ten one. Okay, me drop. Get on that line. I want you to pressure him. See, you pressured him. You pressured him. That wasn't my dink. Yeah, I want you up there getting ready to hunt. Think you want that ball, you want to smack it. Okay, five, ten, one. You. Oh, that was good though. He just got you, but that was smart. Okay, your serve. Get out of my way. Yep, good try. You. Yeah. So you kind of put a defensive shot forward where she now she's going to attack it. You were working good cross court. You didn't need to change directions. Right? You're like, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, you're up there. Okay, you're my protector. See how I let that bounce? Okay, good. Okay, that's game right. Good job. Yeah, that was good. That was good. What time is it, Gordon? It's 12. Okay, so that's our lesson. After a while, a couple of hours, it'll be on CoachDavidLive.com. You'll be able to watch it. So this was a lot of information. Yeah, but the, on, the only reason I could do it like this is, one, you're leaving. Yeah. Two, you're going to have the video to watch. Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't have added all this stuff in. Okay. You know. But I, I knew what you told me your goal was. Okay. This, this is what solves it, is being able to defend cross-court, having the other person up and back, you know. Take a lot of it's a lot of practice. You just learned pro level stuff, you know. But it's for everybody. Okay. And I know you got a good drop. I saw it. There's no excuse, you know. If you drive, drive in front of yourself. All right, great job. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Sure. It was fun. Thanks for making it extra hard. It's hard to learn double play though without another pair. People on the other side. It is. They just like, they like to learn, so yeah. I knew they're this always good for. Okay, so that's it. Okay, coachdavidlive.com. Thanks, Gordon and Char. And that's Crystal. She's going to go teach Ed now. Yeah. Everything else. See ya. But will he listen? That's the